was a magnificent melody, Lady Una. The onlookers were all quite enchanted. If it brings spirit together, even a little, then I'm glad. Indeed, I believe it shall. As you sang, not a soul could help but realize the folly of their tiresome squabbling. Fists once raised in anger became welcoming hands, offering solace to a tearful neighbor. I must admit that I, too, shed my share of tears the moment Len appeared. You know Len? Of course. Would you like to hear? Yes, tell us. <clears throat> Where to begin? About a thousand years ago, Len was a popular songstress in Zanagant. The talk of the town, you might say. In a more peaceful age, she might have lived out her years as a performer. But the times and her talents did not allow such a thing to be. You see, Len's gift for singing was matched by her genius in the summoner's arts. When the Machina War began, all summoners were sent to the front lines. Zanagand was hopelessly outnumbered. Len knew she would not return home alive. Nonetheless, she was prepared to lay down her life to protect her people. Yet there was one person who refused to let Len die. Yes, he would do anything to save her. He was a young man, Len's lover. Shuyin? I don't know. His name has been lost to history. Whatever his name, the youth endeavored to steal the enemy's machina weapon and save Len. However... <sighs> it didn't go well. The lovers met a truly tragic end. Those images we all witnessed are most certainly a record of their last moments. So Shu Yin was Len's lover. And so that means the weapon that he tried to steal to save her must have been, um... Vegnagun, right? I think I can kind of understand how he felt. Trying so hard to save someone? Two years ago, I was the same. Trying to find some way, some way to save you. That was enough. Knowing that you were on my side, I'll always be grateful to you. Maybe Len felt the same way. The man she loved, he struggled to save her. He fought till his very last breath for her. I think that Len's final words might have been happy ones. I love you. Yes, there is a connection. But wait. Everything is all wrong. He never heard. The one person she wanted to tell, he never heard her words. What do you know? It's LeBlanc's game. They want to see Yuna. I'll have them wait in the engine room. I'm afraid it's not much help now, loves. 
How about you? Have you tracked down my Nuji yet? Nuji is on the far plane. I saw him there with Gipple. The far plane? What is he doing in a place like that? I think he's searching for Barilai and Vegnagun. Oh, ho, ho. so Barilai is the one pulling Vegnagun strings. I should have known. No, that's not it. How do I explain? Never mind, I don't have time for this. Boys, we're going to the far plane. <laughs> We're no match for that sort of opponent. Now don't be silly. The power of love conquers all. It's decided. We're going to save Spira. Yes, ma'am. Well then, get this tanker moving. What have we here? Looks like a transmission, but it's pretty weak. What is? Hmm. I'm getting signals from the comm sphere we dropped in that hole, but I can't seem to connect. Enough, little boy. Move aside. like this could change the world. Whoever came up with this is a genius. He's got good taste. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too for fixing it. Anybody home? Gipple! I don't think he can hear us. No response. Hm. Some genius. <gasps> If you're done playing, let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve? Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? We can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. If it doesn't work? Death will be my apology. Whatever, man. When a Death Seeker dies, that's no apology. What about LeBlanc? Well, she... talking to Shu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. I'm sure he'll understand. How? We can't exactly make an appointment. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. Together, this time. <laughs> 